from San Francisco, it's The Cube. Covering OSI Soft, Pi World 2018. Brought to you by OSI Soft. Hey, welcome back everybody. Jeff Frick here with The Cube. We're in downtown San Francisco at the OSI Soft Pi World 2018. They've been doing it for like 28 years. It's amazing. We've never been here before. It's our first time and really these guys are all about OT operational um, transactions and you know we talk about IOT and industrial IOT, they're doing it here, they're doing it for real and they've been doing it for decades. So we're excited to have our next two guests, Tyler Duncan, he's a technologist from Dell. Tyler, Hi. great to see you. Thank you. And he's joined by Ed Watson, the global account manager for channels for OCSoft. For Glad to be OSI here. OSIsoft, excuse me. Thanks, Jeff. I assume uh, Dell's one of your accounts. Dell is one of my accounts as well as Nokia, so oh, uh, very good. there's a, a big nexus there. Yep, and we're looking forward to Dell Technology World next week, next week. I think. Yeah. Um, I think it's the first Dell Technology, not Dell EMC World. With uh, That's right. I don't know how many people are going to be there, 50,000 or something? Uh, uh, there'll, uh, there'll be a lot. There'll be a lot. Yeah. But that's all right, but we're here today, yeah. and we're talking about um, industrial IoT and really what OSI Soft's been doing for a number of years. But what's interesting to me is from the IT side, we kind of look at industrial IoT as just kind of just kind of getting here. And it's still kind of a new opportunity. And looking at things like 5G and looking at things like um, IP, you know, all these sensors are now going to have IP connections on them. So there's a whole new opportunity to marry the IT and the OT together. The nasty thing is you want to move it out of those clean, pristine data centers and get it out to the edge of the nasty oil fields and the nasty uh, wind turbine fields and crazy turbines and these things. So, edge, what's special about the edge? What are you guys doing to take care of the special things on the edge? Well, a, a couple things. I think uh, being out there in the nasty environments is where the money is. So, trying to collect data from, from the remote assets uh, that, that really aren't connected right now. So in terms of the edge, you have a uh, variety of you know, small gateways that you can collect the data. But what we see uh, now is a move toward more compute at the edge. And that's where Dell comes in. Yeah, and uh, so I'm part of Dell's Extreme Scale Infrastructure Group, ESI, and specifically I'm part of our modular data center team. So what that means is that for us, we are helping deploy compute out at the edge and also at the, the core, but the challenges at the edge is, you mentioned the, the kind of the dirty uh, area, well, we can actually change that environment so that it's not a dirty environment anymore. It's a different set of challenges. It may be uh, more that it's remote, it's lights out. I don't have uh, people there to maintain it, things like that. So. Uh, it's not necessarily that it's dirty or ruggedized or that it's high temperature or, or extreme environments. It just may be remote. Right. But there's always this kind of balance in terms of, I assume it's always application specific as to, you know, what can you process there? What do you have to send back to process? There's always this nasty thing called latency and the speed of light that just gets in the way all the time. So how are you, you know, redesigning systems? How are you thinking about how much compute and store do you put out on the edge? How do you break up that you send back to central processing? How much do you have to keep? You know, we all want to keep everything. It's probably a little bit more practical if you're keeping it back in the data center versus you're trying to store it at the edge. So how are you looking at some of these factors in designing these solutions? Well, Jeff, that, those are good points. And where OSI Soft Pi comes in for the modular data center is to collect all the power, cooling, and uh, IT data uh, aggregate it, send to the cloud what needs to be sent to the cloud, but enable uh, Dell and, and their customers to make decisions right there on the edge. So if you're using a uh, modular data center for uh, telecom, uh, for cell towers, for autonomous vehicles, for AR, VR, um, what we provide for Dell is a way to manage those modular data centers. And when you're talking uh, uh, geographically dispersed modular data centers, it, it can be a real challenge. Yeah, and I think, uh, you know, to add to that, there's, when we start looking at the edge uh, and the data that's there, there's, I look at it as kind of two different purposes. There's one of why is that compute there in the first place. We're not defining that. We're just trying to enable our customers to be able to deploy compute however they need. Now when we start looking at our control system and the software monitoring analytics, absolutely, you know, and what we are doing is we want to make sure that 
when we are capturing that data, we are capturing the right amount of data, but we're also creating the right uh, uh, tools and hooks in place in order to be able to update those data models as time goes on. Right. So that we don't have to worry about if we got it right on day one. It's updatable, and we know that the right solution for one customer and the right data uh, is not necessarily the right data for the next customer. Right. So we're not going to make the assumptions that we have it all figured out. We're just trying to design the solution so that it's flexible enough to allow uh, customers to do whatever they need to do. Well, I'm just curious in terms of, you know, it's obviously important enough to give you guys your own name, Extreme mm -hmm. Scale. <laughs> well, I mean, what is, ex what is Extreme Scale? Because you said it isn't necessarily because it's dirty data and, and hardened and, 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 and kind of environmentally, but what, what makes an extreme scale opportunity for you that maybe some of your cohorts will, will bring you guys into an opportunity? Yeah, so I think uh, for the extreme scale part of it is, uh, it is just doing the, uh, the right engineering effort, provide the right solution uh, for a customer, as opposed to something that is uh, more of a product base that is bought off of Dell.com. Okay. Everything we do is solution based. And so it's listening to the customer, what their challenges are, and trying to, uh, uh, again, provide that right solution. There are probably different levels of what's the right level of customization based off of uh, how much that uh, customer is, is buying. And sometimes that is adding things, sometimes it's taking things away, sometimes it's the, uh, the remote location or sometimes it's a traditional data center. So uh, our extreme scale infrastructure encompasses a lot of different verticals. And, and are most of the solutions that you develop kind of very customer specific as, or is there you know, you kind of come up with a solution that's more of an industry specific versus customer specific. Yeah, we do, uh, I, I would say everything we do is very customer specific. Uh, that's what our branch of, of Dell does. Uh, that said, as we start looking at more of the, uh, what we're calling the edge, I think there are things that have to have a little bit more of a blend of that kind of uh, product analysis or the, that look from a product side. Uh, I'm no longer know that I'm deploying, you know, 40 megawatts in a particular location on, on the map. Instead, I'm deploying uh, 10,000 locations all over the world and I need a solution that works in all of those. So it has to be a little more product based in some of those, but still customized for our customers. And, and Jeff, you know, we talked a little bit about scale. It's one thing to have scale in a data center. It's another thing to have scale across the globe. And this is where Pi excels uh, in that uh, ability to uh, manage that scale. Right, and then how exciting is it for you guys? You've been at it a, a while, but you know, it's not that long that we've had things like Hadoop, and we've had things like Flink, and we've had things like Spark, and kind of these new age uh, applications for streaming data. But you guys, were, you guys were extracting value from these systems and making, making course corrections 30 years ago. So how are some of these new technologies impacting your guys' ability to deliver value to your customers? Well, I, I think it's, the ecosystem itself is very good because it allows customers to collect data in a, in a, in a way that they want to. Um, our ability to enable our customers to take data out of Pi and put it into Hadoop or put it into a data lake or an SAP HANA um, really adds significant value in today's ecosystem. It's pretty interesting because you know I look around the room at, at all your sponsors, right? A lot of a lot of familiar names, a lot of new names as well. But um, you know, it, it, in our world, in the IT space that we cover, it's funny we've we've never been here before. We cover a lot of big shows, like I said, we'll be at, at, at Dell Technology World. So you guys have been you guys have been doing your thing. Has has a, an ecosystem always been important? for OSI soft, it's, it's very, very important for all the tech companies we cover. Has it always been important for you or is it a relatively new development? Well, I, I think it's always been important. I think it's, it's more so now. Uh, no one company can do it all. We provide the data infrastructure and then allow our partners and clients to build solutions on top of it. Um, and I think I think that's what, uh, you know, sustains us through the years. Right. So. Final thoughts on, on what's going on here today and, and over the last couple of days. Any surprises, you know, Paul chatter that you can share that, that you weren't expecting or you know, really validates what's going on in this space. A lot of activity going on. I love all the signs over the building. This is the infrastructure that makes the rest of the world go, whether it's power, transportation, what do we have behind us? Distribution, I mean, it's, it's really 
pretty phenomenal, the industries that you guys cover. Yeah, and, and you know, a lot of the sessions are uh, uh, videotaped, so, you know, you can see Tyler from last year when he gave a presentation. <laughs> uh, this year, eBay, PayPal are giving presentations, and it's, it's just a very exciting time in the data center industry. Yeah. And I'll say on our side, you know, uh, maybe not as much of a surprise, but also hearing the kind of the customer feedback on things that uh, Dell and, and OSI Soft have uh, partnered together and we work together on things like a Redfish connector in order to be able to, from an ag agnostic standpoint, be able to pull data from uh, any server that's out there, regardless of, of brand, we're full support of that, but be able to do that in an automatic way that with their connector so that Whenever I go and I search for my range of IP addresses, it finds all the devices, brings all that data in, organizes it, and makes it ready for me to be able to use. That's a, that's a big thing, and that's uh, it's, they've been doing connectors for a while, but that's a new thing as far as being able to bring that and do that for servers. That if I have 100,000 servers, I can't manually go get all those and bring them in. Right, so, right. So being able to do that in an automatic way is a great enablement for the edge. Yeah, it's a really refreshing, you know, again, kind of point of view. We usually look at it from the other side, you know, from IT, you know, really starting to get together with the OT, but, you know, coming at it from the OT side where you have such an established customer base, such an established history and solution set, and then again, marrying that back to the IT and some of the newer things that are happening, and that's exciting times. Yeah. All right. Absolutely. Yep. Well, thanks for spending a few minutes with us, and uh, and congratulations on the success of the show. Thank All you. Right. Thank All you. right. He's Tyler. He's Ed. I'm Jeff. You're watching the Cube from downtown San Francisco at OSIsoft Pi World 2018. Thanks for watching.